annual plan. Everybody has a copy of the annual plan here. And as you see, um, there's some different funding that's going to be dispersed for certain things. Um, the first one that we're going to be doing is the common entry flooring replacement. And we kept that in-house, so when Mike um, has some free time, him and our per diem are going to be replacing all the floors and all the hallways. Um, that will allow us to repaint the hallways, um, if they damage any walls. So that's the first um, one we have for 2025. Uh, we also have a gas furnace replacement. Uh, this actually is something that we keep and it, it, it forwards every year. If we don't have to replace our gas furnace, then it will go to 2026. But we do keep that in there just in case um, something happens to the gas hey, furnace. Please, please, sorry. Um, we also um, have, in 2026, we're doing the exterior unit storm screen door replacement. We did just talk about this. Um, this one might be on hold. We are going to ask for the funding for it because we did receive seventy-five thousand dollars in offer money. Is this for the back doors? The back screen door you're talking about? Yes, it will be. Yep. Yeah. But we did receive um, seventy-five thousand dollars in um, offer money. We just found out today. Our, our cap representative, was here, representative, was here this morning. And there is, um, the state is offering a special award. If anybody does receive offer money, they're gonna double it, but we have to apply for it. So um, we're gonna take this 3220, we are gonna ask for it, just in case we don't get matched to 75. But so far this 30,000 is earmarked for um, the screen replacements in the backs of the buildings. Um, the $4,460, that has to be spent in um, ADA, which is anything handicapped wise. We usually keep that on there. We have to have so much has to be earmarked for that, whether um, we put in a handicapped bathroom or if it's um, railings or doorknobs or anything handicapped. So we always have to have a cer certain percentage um, earmarked for um, ADA. Thank you. Yep, so we also put some money this year in our turnover money. Um, $9,775, that is, um, always comes in handy. If it, uh, usually when a unit um, is vacant, Mike goes in, he makes the assessment of does it need um, a tub surround. Uh, how many tub surrounds have we done so far? Mm -hmm. Half a dozen. Yeah, so we've already done six. So if the wall seems soft around the tub, he does a whole tub surround uh, with, new fa with the new faucets in them, the faucets. No, the valves, no, just um, the well, bathroom faucets, yeah, the okay. same faucets. That's, that's so um, we have the 9,775, and, um, uh, 9, and we also did another one for 4,000. Uh, we can't do anything over 10, but the 4,000 there is earmarked um, for the same year um, for vacancy turnovers. If we don't use the money, then we can roll it towards the next year. So that's what we've been working on now with our vacancy turnovers is money that has been rolled over from past years. What's the difference in these two lines? The One account. is a force account, so that is, a force account means Mike does all the work. Okay. When it's not a force account, then that means we can actually, if we need um, like a contractor to come in, or we can use it out of that money. In 2027, we also put 28,000 for a vacant unit turnover. And um, our kitchen renovations that year, we have 112,541. That we're going to keep as earmarked for a project, but that if um, our kitchens are doing really well, uh, we can also use some of that for all the countertops and all the sinks. We have replaced quite a bit here. I don't know. We, we, we just did inspections and we're going to actually come up um, at our next meeting. The board will know exactly what we have. As we just did our inspections, we took an inventory of all new floors, all new tub surrounds, countertops, sinks, and that we'll be able to present to the board on exactly what we have what we have done in the last year or a couple years since we've been replacing everything. And then for 2028, they have kitchen renovations um, of 83,478. And in 2029, um, we have 130,680 dollars. Once again, um, we just needed to earmark the money. Um, it's not saying that it has to be spent there, but if we don't put it down, we won't get it. So if we put it down for something, we will get it. So we did earmark the $130,680 for 
kitchen cabinets. Um, by then, you might have some kind of an emergency, um, and that can actually be pushed up if we do have some kind of an emergency, um, whether it's a roof that leaks or something that may come up. Then once we get it, it, it can be earmarked or it can be changed to, um, it can, yeah, it can go somewhere. You can move it around, correct. Okay. Question? Yes. The, um, the money, like you said, the, the force account, or um, you had said that with the, the flooring, like that 40000 you you might do that stuff. Yes. Does that mean it just goes into payroll? Yes. Um, no, that's okay. actually for materials. Oh, okay. Yes, but it will go into payroll um, once if, if Mike brings the per diem in and the per diem stops working on it, okay. we can earmark that for um, the, to pay the per diem. Mike, um, it doesn't come um, in Mike's salary because okay, it just that's gets, just our regular budget. Absolutely. So when we do these things and we say it's going to be in-house, it doesn't increase our budget on that end for, for no, our labor. No, but if Mike but is we here, can shift some over time, it will... You can try to do that if you want. No, but um, if Mike, like if, because it's a force account, if Mike's here and he has overtime on it, it will pay for the per diem and it will also pay for overtime. Okay. So that won't be, that won't come out of our budget. Okay. Any other questions? So that's our capital, a five-year capital plan and our maintenance and repair plan. You looking for a motion to approve this plan? Um, well, we can go through all of it and maybe just approve the whole annual plan at once. Okay. Um, our current operating budget has actually already been approved. We, they just add it into the annual plan. Um, responses to the performance management re review, we already actually went over that in um, the last meeting. You guys um, also approved that. Um, the list of housing authority policies, that is a list that I gave them that we've approved up till this date. Um, we so, did a lot of that last year. Yes, yeah, yep, and all of those, if you look, are included in this plan. I just want to go over um, everything that's in here. And a list of waivers from um, the Department of Housing, we really didn't have many waivers for anything. So this would include all of our 2024 annual plan for the Housing Authority. Mm -hmm. So we can just make an approval on if, if, any, if it, um, we just have to ask if anybody here has any questions. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Do we have a motion to adjourn a special meeting? Uh, we want a motion to approve the plan first. Yeah, yeah. Motion to approve, approve the, the plan. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes.